Okay, tonight's um, video is about the top 10 uh, football transfers of all time. Uh, in 10th place, it was Lukaku's transfer from Everton to Man United for £75 million uh, pounds in 2017. And you can debate how good or bad Lukaku has been for Man United under Jose Mourinho. But of course, we've got Ole Gunnar Solskjaer, who was a centre-forward. So we may see Lukaku improve his production. He cost £75 million. Higuain does a very similar role for Juventus, uh, was bought from Napoli for 75.3 million the year before. These two would have been record breakers in 2008. 2009, um, Ronaldo's first transfer from Man United to Real Madrid, so a decade ago, he was worth 80 million. Uh, that was a record at the time. That's only good enough for eighth place now. Um, then you look at the record that was broken by his future teammate at Real Madrid, Gareth Bale. He was sold by Spurs for 86 million in 2013. Now, it would be interesting to see him at uh, another club that isn't Real Madrid and see how he performs. It'd be interesting. Um, they were both records in their own right. They happened four years apart. Everything above Gareth Bale's happened in the last two years. These are the only two transfers that happened outside of the 2016 onwards period. One happened in 2013 and one happened in 2009. All the other transfers from six upwards have happened in the last two years. Ronaldo's Second transfer from Real Madrid to Juventus was worth 88.5 million this summer. And there were protests from um, some in Italian football and some people who work for Fiat uh, threatening strike action over the amount of money paid. And then the other scandals have come out about Ronaldo as well. Um, two years before that, the then record of Paul Pogba's transfer from Juventus to Man United for 89 million pounds. That was big in 2016. Um, that broke Bale's record from three years previously by three million. However, that's been broken four times. Um, Dembele, Dortmund to Barcelona for 97 million. I'm not sure if that was done before or after the Neymar transfer, but it's not a record transfer. Um, it's still bigger than Paul Pogba's. Uh, it's mad. It's a large amount of money. It's basically 100 million pounds. Uh, but it's not it's not the uh, the best on the list because Coutinho's transfer from Liverpool to Barcelona was worth 106 million. Uh, that was in January, just gone. Uh, Mbappe, Monaco to PSG in the summer, just after the World Cup, 158 million pounds. That's still not the top one because we know the top one. That is Neymar, 192 million from Barcelona to PSG uh, last summer. What I find interesting is only five clubs are purchasing. Uh, their main night, Juventus, Real Madrid, uh, Barcelona and PSG. There are 10 individual clubs selling. Barcelona, uh, Juventus, uh, Real Madrid and main night are sellers as well. So some of the money does just rotate round. But PSG, people are, you know, people are wondering why they, they've been accused of breaching financial fair play. Look at those two transfers. Um, it says enough, uh, really, about the financial fair play rules. Uh, the reason why Juventus are a buyer and a seller um, is Pogba and, and Higuain. That was like for like, basically. You, you sell Pogba, you bring in Higuain, you made a little bit of a profit in there. Man United, they take place years, well, 2016, 2017, eh, but they did sell Ronaldo in there. Again, they have spent a lot of money under Mourinho. It hasn't really worked. But you look at it, this says to me two things. One, Football transfers are overinflated because they are. Uh, Lukaku's transfer, for example, or maybe even up to Gareth, Gareth Bale's transfer, which was then a record. If you equivalent that to US dollars, that especially Lukaku's one, I think is the easiest to look at. Lukaku at number 10. If you equivalent his transfer into US dollars, that is the salary cap for the NHL this year and possibly next year in real terms. That is how over overinflated the transfer market is when the, the value of the transfer could pay a whole team's wages in another professional league which is classed as one of the best leagues in the world um, and it's the best league in its own individual sport that can play a whole pay a whole team's wages for a year yeah that shows how overinflated the transfer market is and those who follow my channel will realize i'm a big nhl fan and i know a lot about the nhl that Lukaku's transfer, for example, which is number 10 on the list, is equivalent to the NHL salary cap. It's insane. Um, also, another thing I've noticed, there's only five clubs buying, 10 individual clubs selling. But looking at the fact, if you take out Ronaldo's first transfer and Bale's transfer, all these transfers have occurred in the last two years, which says to me that Neymar's transfer record is going to be broken within a very short period of time. Maybe not this year, 
possibly next year, but definitely within the next couple of years, that transfer will be broken. Um, you know, whether PSG are forced to sell both Mbappe and Neymar to get under financial fair play rules again could mean the record's broken. Um, but looking at it, it's insane. Uh, the amount of money on this board, you, you could buy half of Africa, probably, or half the Pacific. I'm, I'm not joking. Uh, Neymar's transfer value was the equivalent to the value of seven individual countries in the Pacific region of the world. Apparently, he's worth more than seven countries full of people. That is how sickening and overdeflated the transfer market is. Uh, but I wouldn't be surprised if PSG are forced to sell either Neymar or Mbappe uh, to get back under financial fair play rules, which have obviously been found out that they've been breaching for quite some time. And they've been told you have to sell some players. So I wouldn't be surprised if one of these two, Mbappe most likely, because he's a bit younger, will be resold again. And I wouldn't be surprised if Neymar's transfer record is broken. The fact that it's basically double what Real Madrid played for Bale in 2013, five years ago, scares me. Um, the fact that it's yeah, it's basically double of Pogba's transfer to Man United in 2016. Um, I would say anything below Pogba is uh, pushing acceptability. The fact that 10th place is worth 75 million and first is worth 192 says there's something dangerously wrong with the transfer market. Um, Man United fresh off the back of winning the Europa League and the League Cup uh, that year. Juventus, Serie A, Real Madrid. We know all about Madrid's success, Juventus' success, Barcelona's success. PSG have only recently come into money. All the other clubs are well-established, household names. PSG came into money five, six, seven years ago, and they basically bought the French League. They have. They can't do anything in Europe, but they bought the French League. I don't know what's more important. Uh, but this shows us how, uh, how out of control spending is in football. I was going to do the top 20, but then I would have run out of space on the board. And from 11 downwards, it's actually very, very close together. And there's not a lot of movement, although there are some transfers. Pre-2009 on there, I think there's a couple from the early 2000s, which would have been record transfers at the time, um, that that would have would have been on the list in the top 20. It's, it's insane. Uh, all these transfers would have been record breakers uh, pre-2009. Mad. But there we go. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe. Place a comment below. What do you think on the top 10 transfers of all time? Do you think that the transfer market is just overinflated and, well, unnecessarily out of control? And do you think Neymar's transfer record will be broken? This one at the top. I would like to hear from you. Thank you. So thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Place your comments below. And I'll have some more videos for you soon.